it's Jeanette J Beauty and welcome to my channel and yes you read the title right today I will be cutting my hair and I know this video comes as a shock to many of you and you're gonna want to know why I will say this past month I have been so stressed out I've been feeling really spread thin I have been going through it and I know maybe you just didn't notice but I Definitely have been feeling spread thin. As many of you know, I am a single mother by choice of four children, and that's a lot within itself. So not only because of what's going on, am I a mother, but I'm also a teacher. I'm also the breadwinner. I also have to clean. I have to cook. I have to go and run errands. I have a lot of priorities that I need to do. And no, I'm not complaining at all. I'm just letting you in a little bit in on my life. Out of my four children, two, I have to be careful of what I do and one particular needs special attention. So it's just been a lot that has been weighing on me. May was the month that I was like, okay, <laughs> like I really need to get it together. And I have developed a new routine just for me to get back in the swing. Everything that I've done, I've just noticed that it has taken a little bit of a toll on my hair, especially in the back. It's not as noticeable how I see it. So because of that, I just want to kind of shake my hair how it is, but I know that I'm gonna have to cut some of my hair. That's okay, my hair is gonna grow back, but I just want my hair to be really nice and healthy and just reflect what I stand for, which is healthy hair. I will be doing a voiceover because I wanna make sure that this video gets done quickly. It's already 6.50 right now, and I know if I talk to the camera, it's just gonna be a lot longer than what it needs to be. I just wanna cut my hair and I will feel a lot better. So that's the reason why I'm cutting my hair. So let's just get right to it. To get started, I'm removing this elastic from my hair, which was previously in a perm rod out, and I enjoyed it while it lasted. Next, I'm gonna separate my hair into quadrants. It just makes taking care of my hair a whole lot easier. And I sprayed my hair with water because I love to damp to tangle. I find that it helps me manage my hair with ease. I like to make sure that my parts are nice and clean so I don't have any hair snagging in between the parts. Also, it helps me to visualize how I'm gonna do my hair easily. Now that all of my hair has been separated into quadrants, I'm gonna detangle and stretch it. And I'm taking small subsections of hair at a time. I sprayed a little bit more water just to help me damp to tangle my hair. And I'm using a wide tooth comb to do this. I'm making sure that each subsection of hair is nicely detangled, smooth, and stretched before proceeding on to the next subsection of hair. After both subsections of hair have been detangled, smooth, and stretched, I'm gonna comb both of them together and just seeing where I wanna cut my hair, how much I wanna cut off, and the arrow indicates where I wanna cut. I'm gonna detangle the other sections of hair off camera and here's how my hair looks as a whole. Now that all of my hair is stretched, I'm gonna divide it in quadrants once more, but this time I'm being very precise about my parting because I do balance each side together, so I wanna make sure that they're nice and even. Because I knew I was gonna cut at least three inches off, I thought the best way would be to take an elastic and put it around this whole section and then push it down. This way I can cut my hair nice and clean in one swipe and also balance it on the other side for symmetry. After applying the elastic on the other side, I'm just gonna pull them down to the point where I know I'm gonna cut. And I use the center of my chin as a point for symmetry. And both sections look nice and balanced, so I was ready to cut my hair. And I thought my hair just looked funny that way, and I'm gonna do the same to the other side. 
After the initial cut, I'm gonna comb my hair once more and pull all the hair in this section together. And any hair that overlaps, I'm just gonna cut it off. And I found this diagram online. This is pretty much how I like to cut my hair. And I did the same on the opposite side. Now I'm going to balance each side against each other in smaller subsections of hair. I pull my hair nice and taut just to make sure I have more of an accurate reading before I cut my hair. And it was very clear to me that the right side was longer than the left so I cut about an inch off just to help balance and make sure that the right side was equal with the left. I did this once more just to make sure that both sides were nice and equal before I moved on. For the next two sections, I'm gonna do the same exact process. Now for the next two sections, I just put my hair above my head and comb my hair out, making sure that it's pulled nice and taut so that when I cut my hair and make sure that it's nice and even, I get a better reading. Because it was a lot of hair to cut in one, I just decided to twist the section of hair together and cut my hair where I thought it was accurate. After that big cut, I combed each subsection of hair separately, making sure that it was pulled nice and taut again. And then I just cut any hair that was overlapping a little bit, and I left these subsections of hair out because when I went to the front, I wanted to make sure that my hair is gonna align with my overall heart shape. So I knew I had to cut a lot more hair off in the front than I did in the back. I pulled my hair nice and taut and wrapped it with an elastic and then I just pulled it down accordingly with this top section because I wanna make sure that the middle section has the most volume. And when I was satisfied with where the elastic ended, I cut my hair. And I did the exact same process to the other side. And I wanted to note that I'm pulling my hair at a diagonal because I want that heart shape. After I cut the front section, I'm going to blend the front section with the back section so it doesn't look choppy. I'm going to take a small section of hair in the front in the shape of a rectangle and I'm going to cut my hair accordingly. And I pulled another section of hair outwards and then cut my hair accordingly. And I spent about 10 minutes doing this just to make sure that the front portion is blended out very nicely. Next, I grabbed sections of hair in the middle and combed it out just to make sure that this middle section is cut evenly as well.
and I comb through all of my hair in one just to make sure that I do have that heart shape that I desire. And here's how my hair looks in the back after I finished my cut. And here's how it looks in the front. And I could still put my hair in a pony puff so it's not too short. Overall, I really like the shape that I have in this cut. Here's how much hair I cut and I really hope that you enjoyed my video. Let me know down below in the comments what you thought and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!